Pneumonia is a significant respiratory infection characterized by inflammation of the lung parenchyma, typically involving the alveoli. This condition can be caused by various pathogens and occurs in diverse clinical settings, necessitating a comprehensive understanding of its etiology and associated risk factors for effective management. Community-acquired pneumonia, CAP, represents a substantial portion of pneumonia cases encountered in clinical practice. The most prevalent causative agent in CAP is Streptococcus pneumoniae, also known as pneumococcus. This gram-positive, encapsulated diplococcus is responsible for a significant number of cases, particularly in adult populations. Mycoplasma pneumoniae, an atypical bacterium lacking a cell wall, is another common pathogen in CAP, often associated with younger patients and milder clinical presentations. Several risk factors predispose individuals to CAP. Advanced age is a primary risk factor, as elderly individuals often have decreased immune function and may have comorbidities that increase susceptibility. Chronic diseases, such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, diabetes mellitus, and cardiovascular disorders, can impair host defenses and increase the likelihood of pneumonia development. Lifestyle factors, including smoking and excessive alcohol consumption, also play a crucial role in elevating the risk of CAP by compromising respiratory epithelial function and immune responses. Hospital-acquired pneumonia, HAP, presents a distinct challenge in healthcare settings. This form of pneumonia typically develops 48 hours or more after hospital admission and is not incubating at the time of admission. The microbial etiology of HAP differs significantly from CAP, with gram-negative bacilli playing a predominant role. Pseudomonas aeruginosa is a particularly concerning pathogen in HAP due to its intrinsic antibiotic resistance and ability to form biofilms. Other gram-negative organisms commonly implicated in HAP include Klebsiella pneumoniae, Escherichia coli, and Acinetobacter species. The risk factors for HAP are closely tied to the hospital environment and patient characteristics. Prolonged hospitalization increases exposure to potentially pathogenic organisms and may lead to colonization of the respiratory tract. Mechanical ventilation is a significant risk factor as it bypasses natural defense mechanisms and provides a direct route for pathogens to enter the lower respiratory tract. Recent antibiotic use can alter the patient's normal flora, potentially selecting for resistant organisms. Additionally, factors such as immobility, poor oral hygiene, and the presence of invasive devices, such as nasogastric tubes, contribute to the increased risk of HAP. Aspiration pneumonia represents a distinct category with unique pathophysiology and risk factors. This form of pneumonia results from the inhalation of oropharyngeal or gastric contents into the lower respiratory tract. The microbial etiology of aspiration pneumonia often involves a mixture of anaerobic bacteria from the oral cavity, such as Peptostreptococcus, Fusobacterium, and Prevotella species. Enteric gram-negative bacilli may also be involved, particularly in cases of gastric content aspiration. Risk factors for aspiration pneumonia are primarily related to conditions that impair the protective mechanisms of the upper airway and esophagus. Impaired consciousness, whether due to sedation, neurological disorders, or intoxication, increases the risk of aspiration by reducing the gag reflex and cough response. Dysphagia, often associated with neurological conditions or structural abnormalities of the upper gastrointestinal tract, predisposes patients to aspiration during swallowing. Gastroesophageal reflux disease also increases the risk of aspiration, particularly during sleep or in patients with impaired consciousness. Certain patient populations are at increased risk for specific pathogens and require special consideration. Alcoholic and diabetic patients are particularly susceptible to infections caused by Klebsiella pneumoniae. This gram-negative organism can cause severe, necrotizing pneumonia, often characterized by the production of thick, blood-tinged sputum described as currant jelly. 
The increased risk in these populations is attributed to impaired immune function, particularly neutrophil dysfunction and alterations in the normal respiratory flora. Patients with human immunodeficiency virus infection are at risk for opportunistic infections, with pneumocystis gyrovichii pneumonia, PJP, being a significant concern. The risk of PJP is highest in patients with CD4 counts below 200 cells per microliter, highlighting the importance of regular monitoring and appropriate prophylaxis. PJP typically presents with a subacute onset of dry cough, progressive dyspnea, and hypoxemia, often with minimal findings on chest auscultation despite significant radiographic abnormalities. Neonatal pneumonia presents unique challenges due to the immature immune system and distinct risk factors in this population. Group V streptococcus, GBS, and Escherichia coli are common causative agents in neonatal pneumonia. Risk factors include prematurity, which is associated with underdeveloped lung function and immune responses. Maternal colonization with GBS increases the risk of vertical transmission, particularly in the setting of prolonged rupture of membranes greater than 18 hours, which allows for ascending infection. Patients with chronic respiratory conditions, such as COPD or bronchiectasis, are at increased risk for pneumonia caused by specific pathogens. Haemophilus influenza and Moraxella catarrhalis are frequently implicated in these populations. The increased susceptibility is due to impaired mucociliary clearance, chronic inflammation, and structural changes in the airways. These patients often experience frequent exacerbations, which can further compromise respiratory function and increase the risk of pneumonia. A notable consideration in pneumonia etiology is the increased risk of bacterial superinfection following influenza virus infection. Staphylococcus aureus, including methicillin-resistant strains, MRSA, is a significant concern in post-influenza pneumonia. The influenza virus causes damage to the respiratory epithelium, impairs mucociliary clearance, and alters immune responses, creating a favorable environment for bacterial invasion. This synergistic interaction between viral and bacterial pathogens can lead to severe, rapidly progressive pneumonia with high morbidity and mortality. Understanding the diverse etiology and risk factors associated with pneumonia is crucial for accurate diagnosis and appropriate management. The clinical approach should consider the patient's history, comorbidities, and environmental exposures to guide empiric antibiotic therapy and diagnostic workup. Recognizing specific risk factors allows for targeted preventive strategies, such as vaccination, smoking cessation, and appropriate infection control measures in healthcare settings. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.